This is the Tanya Free and Friends Talk Show, your destination for social and political straight talk, on air, online, and on point. Get ready to join the conversation with your host, Ms. Tanya Free. Today is Wednesday, September the 16th. Welcome to the Tanya Free and Friends Talk Show. I am Tanya Free, joined by my wonderful friends. Former Richmond City Councilman Bill Johnson, how are you? Hello, lady. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so very much. And also with us is Reverend Woodson. How are you? I am fine. It's good to be with you again. Well, thank you for being here. And also with us is Van Nevels. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you so much. Well, good. Thank you for being here. (laughs) And also with us is Gilbert Wilkerson. How are you? I am well. Thank you. Well, good, good, good. And also welcome to the studio, Dan Lowry. I know you don't have a mic, but hello, hello. And also at um, our social media desk and Roby correspondents, Antoinette Baylor, how are you? I'm doing fine. And behind the scenes is Marcus Evans and uh, Mr. Free. Thank you all so much for being here. We want to welcome our listeners and hope that they would join the conversation. We welcome your opinions as well as comments. Phone lines are open, 804-321-1010. Our toll-free number is 844-321-1010. Or you can text us at Tanya Free 63975. Um, I want to get started on an incident that happened last week while we were out on break last Wednesday. Um, another police brutality, and this time it was with a celebrity, James Blake, a uh, retired uh, tennis player. And he just happened to be minding his own business when a undercover police officer tackled him to the ground, slammed him, roughed him up a little bit. He was on his way, the, um, the tennis player was on his way to a benefit for an appearance. Well, after they got through with him, I don't see what type of parents he can go to. But anyway, it's just unfortunate that that situation had to happen. And my question to you all, I'm starting with you, Reverend Woodson. Um, do you think it was racially motivated? Um, for, for the most part, there's always a racial element in many of our actions and, and what takes place in our nation. But I think we have to be very cautious and rather not to use race as the primary motivation. I think our culture is just saturated with uneasiness, Mm -hmm. uh, particularly with the police force in other parts of this nation. So race is always before us. Okay, so you sort of agree with the um, New York Police Commissioner that this was not racially motivated. It has great potential of being racially motivated. Really, you think so? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Even though the um, person that they end up arresting were British, Mm-hmm. And they claimed that they mistook um, Blake for a gentleman that looked like him. Mm-hmm. And come to find out, he had nothing to do with it either. He mm-hmm. was a upstanding uh, businessman, mm-hmm. uh, from my understanding, from Australia. What do you think, uh, Bill? I think we should always come from, from a position of racism. It is systemic in these uh, police departments. Good, bad, and different what you think. We should always have that that precaution in front of us that there is a racial motivation simply because of the culture the police culture and we more than anyone else get treated or mistreated and the first thing they see is color so call it profiling call it what you will but yes I do I think it's racial and then it can get down as mistaken identity, but mistaken identity is second, racial first. Mm-hmm. When I, I think of the police department, and I am a supporter of the police. All right. I just think that it is so, the culture is so, I'm, I don't want to use the word corrupt. Use the word corrupt because it's true. <laughs> that it's going to take a while to root this stuff out. I was listening at the uh, police commissioner mm-hmm. who were talking about the millions and millions of dollars they're doing to retrain police officers just in New York. From the time that Bellagio took office, I think I pronounced his name right, mm-hmm. the mayor, mm-hmm. and they turned their backs on him. He should start right there. Right, I agree. Purging, not right. training, not retraining, purging some of these people from the roles. And then they would look at the HR department and say, if they don't meet a certain profile or they, they have had previous conviction, if you're not vetting these people, right. they are policing the white communities, but they are containing others. Okay, okay, but uh, something you said, mm. you look at 
the instance is all on this being racial. Always start. You mm-hmm. said don't 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 that profile. May be, that may be stretching a bit. Well, it may be stretching it, but I think we would be would not be vigilant if we don't assume that simply because of how we are portrayed and how they respond to us. Okay. Okay. Is 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 it okay to say that we make this assumption? or this assumption has potential because the reality is that many of these incidents are not racial motivated. Really? What, what instances are you speaking of that are not? Oh, when the black Fred, Freddie Gray, do you think that was it? Or Eric Garner was not? Those are two concrete illustrations in terms of racial motivation. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm not speaking in that context. Well, but, let me ask this question. If you were to go outside right now mm-hmm. and the officer mistook you for someone else and took you down, do you think that would be racially motivated? Hypothetically, if it was an African American police officer, would it be racially motivated? Yep. Um, it still could be. Well, the overseers were black. It still could be Stere- stereo- stereotypical mm-hmm. okay. situation. Van, jump in here. Um, I need more information because on the videotape, the guy that the undercover cop that ran up on him looked to be of a very similar complexion to the person who got run up on. Okay. On the video, the brother looked lighter than me. So, and in New York, that could have been a, a whole bunch of different ethnicities. First of all, was the um, was the person was the suspect uh, that they eventually re- app- apprehended, who was supposed to have been him? Was he white? Was he black? He was British. He well, that doesn't tell me whether right, he that, was white okay, or black. Okay. I mean, there are white. Right. There I got are you. white African Americans. Okay. Okay. Being that they are white and from South Africa, they would then be considered, by definition, an African American. You okay, follow what well I'm saying? Okay. Well, let me ask this question: Was it necessary to use that much force uh, for a credit no. scam? No, no, it was definitely not. Now, if if we know that he ran, that the guy ran up on him and knew he was black in order to apprehend, well, he's another one of them. Then, yeah, it would definitely be ra- racially motivated. Well, the person but, they mistook him for um, was Australian. He looked black, okay. but he was not the person either that um, was involved with the scam. So, what I'm thinking is that they it did was, not they did not do their homework to see who the persons were or whether or not they were actually black or white. That's what I think. I follow exactly what you're saying, but but for a a credit card scam situation yeah they went a little bit too far with that because it's not like he's on the run exactly because it's a credit card thing it's not a violent situation and then why didn't the officer identify himself gilbert jump in here well that's a good point you know he should have identified himself i do not think it's racially motivated because i think we can quick quickly jump to jump to judgment um we don't know the facts yet i mean um, he was a guy saying, I agree with my friend here, who we don't always agree, <laughs> but we don't know much about what's going on here right now. And uh, like I said, the brother was light skinned. I couldn't have told he was black until my friend told me today. I thought it was, you know, uh, even when Spanish. you look at pictures of him, yeah. we recognize, but others would not be like, well, I can't tell if he has a recipe. Right. So, but I don't think anybody should have um, been attacked like this. Plus, I think as a police officer supposed to approach somebody to arrest somebody, I think he always should identify themselves. No question. No question. So. Okay. Well, I, I have to disagree with both of y'all. But anyway, let's go to the phones. <laughs> Scotty, how are you? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to complain too much. How are you and your great panel? We are well, thank, thank you. Thank you, Scotty. That's good. That's good. I kind of agree with uh, James Blake. Um, when he first came out, he said that he was asked a question, and he said it could be a racial element to it. But then he played that down because look, he can't prove that this guy is racist. There is no evidence. So he just said that this shouldn't happen to anybody. Thank you. And while we do know that um, the black community is disproportionately targeted uh, with these uh, aggressive police tactics, it, ha- it does happen to everybody. I've seen videos of white women being slammed down. And James Blake mentioned his wife, who is white, and he said this could happen to her. And he's not incorrect in that assessment. Yeah. While I do not, it is not my intention mm-hmm. to take focus off of the racist element nationwide in these problems, but at the same time, I think it will do well for all of us to acknowledge that it's happening in other communities. Maybe just not as much. 
But like James Blake said, this shouldn't be happening to anyone. Like one of your panel members said, this isn't a man that was wanted for rape or murder or, you know, dangerous, right. armed and dangerous on the run. This was a non-violent uh, uh, Offense, financial right. crime. And not like James not too dissimilar said, from what goes on on Wall Street, right, Scotty? Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. And so, any, but we ain't seeing none of them being slammed down on the there concrete. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, but but like James Blake said, all you had to do was come up to me and ask me my name and do some in police investigation. Make sure that you got the right person, and then say, tell him, well, this man identified you as one of the perpetrators. Can you please, you know, come over here? We're gonna have to detain you until we, you know, clear this up. And it would have been nothing. nothing. It would have been nothing. So I, I, I understand why James Blake isn't, you know, saying that this absolutely is racism because it's hard to prove that. And the last point I want to make is it is a, cu- a, a culture of corruption. Now, Bill Bratton himself said that this police officer violated procedure. But guess what? He's only been on the force for four years right. and has over five similar complaints against him for police brutality. Exactly. So yes, it is a culture of corruption. I have a question Thanks for you. For taking- I have a question yes, for you, Scotty. Hello. I'm listening. Okay. Um, the brother that was that was that was a tackled. He doesn't want to pursue anything as far as a uh, lawsuit or anything like that. He just wants to put the word out that this should not be happening to anybody. Do you think he should uh, pursue a lawsuit against NYPD? Yes. I yeah. think I know I would. Because yeah. this, this okay. particular officer yeah. has like um, four or five suits pending now. And, and, well, and it's not the officer. It is the police department. It goes it's right the to culture, the commissioner, yeah. commissioner and to the mayor. And I think uh, we are not. We don't have the posture to assume that this guy don't have that. We should start from a position of racism. We we should start. No, there you can't and work do that. Back. Well, let me ask this question. Well, let me ask this question. Start and work back. In this, had, in this particular we have, so you had, we have had the facts. The facts. But you don't have the facts now. Well, it's well, we've early. had them, Premature. and those people still got off. Well, let me say this. There, are, uh, like I said, there are like three or four. Um, Previous complaints, right? That are, um, but that's separate and apart well, from this what, inis- from this incident. That but goes that right back go, to the police commissioner. That would go towards bolstering a case well, against him. Why is it? Side. Why is it the police commissioner did not apologize to those persons as well? Well, how do you know he does it? Did they? He didn't. They said it. I watched the interview. Okay. They've already said they did not receive an apology like well, James Blake. Well, right, they is, James, is it because is it because they black? It's because no, I'm asking, well, 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 I'm asking a question. And they you all said too. you can't, you can't defend, you can't defend that the fact that you can't tell whether or not James Blake is black or not. But what about the two that were wrongfully attacked and abused? They haven't received. Were they, were they, they haven't. Black? They ha- yes, they okay. were. I didn't know they that. were black, and they have not received an apology from the police commissioner or the mayor. So was once this, again, once again, that to me, they, that to me is racist. That, is it not? I, I can dig is it. it not? Were, they, were they caught on tape, and were they people of, of the same stature or greater as this particular person? Oh, no, no, they were not. It doesn't they, they necessarily were, make They were people like you and I. They were people like you and I. But Normal I'm just people. They were. The they, they were not of celebrity status. Okay. We should we should Let file me suit the, every uh, time question that, that that was asked about the law lawsuit again. It, it's not what you know, but what you can prove. And I don't think you can prove racism in this case no. unless you can show a pattern in practice. And if Tanya's saying those other people were all black, then I think you yes, might they can were. establish they the were pattern black. in practice. But at the time, James Blake doesn't have all that information, so I think he's going about it the right way, being codified. And because we know as soon as you say something about some racism, there's automatically going to be some opposition just for mentioning that. So there are other anyway. ways you can you can say, like, my constitutional rights were violated get, without even mentioning anyway. See, this is, this this is racism. But in terms of the lawsuit, um, if he doesn't want to file a lawsuit for monetary damages, he should file a lawsuit to force change in that office as part of the plea agreement. Um, which he has called for this officer to be fired. What sort of and what he, sort of change would 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 he ask for 
that would be substantive and visible. I'm glad that you asked. I'm glad that you asked. All of these families that's getting settlements and stuff, and we just had the um, one family, I think that was in Utah, where the white woman's black son, you know, was, was killed by police, and she just turned down a settlement. All right? So what they can ask for is is empathy testing, or you can call it rate, uh, implicit bias testing for police officers, and other type of screening, um, removing some of the barriers, like for example, some of these police unions have been able to make it so that a cop doesn't have to talk to internal affairs until after 48 hours, which of course but, gives them time to get their story together. So there yeah. are some things that you can sue for in terms of change and change in policy. But, but look at well, the let me ask picture. you this, do you all think the officers should be terminated? Yes, yes, okay. with his we history, agree on that. Should have been I agree, gone. Yes. Oh, yeah. What were you going to say? What I said, yeah. I was going to talk about the big picture okay. of suing. Okay, go ahead. If you're going to sue for money damages uh, for police or whatever, who do you actually, do you punish the police officer? Uh, uh, is the department punished? No. Yes. No, the taxpayer The is. taxpayers. You, that money comes okay. out of your pocket. In, in an overall and scheme of things, okay. It's, it's, and that's it's, another it's, thing that but you that's can no reason, remove. That's no reason to not pursue it either. But it doesn't punish. Have. It should be, should be a punishment. If you come out their own pockets with, with, we, with hitting we them, that would be, be a difference. Record. We should be on record as having staked the claim, filed the claim. Well, that whether doesn't we, hurt them. They well, still well, get a well, raise tomorrow. Well, for your tax money. But statistically, we can say this is how many complaints have come against this department so the right, Department right. of Justice can come down and say, look at what you got. Similar like similar to what Ferguson is. But if we don't document every time I'm not saying no right. they should be on they should be on notice mm -hmm. that if you do that we gonna we gonna we gonna press charges. We gonna make a I claim. understand that that's the punishment. But when you sue somebody, yeah. it doesn't punish anybody. The, every, every right, because it's not coming offenses, out of the pocket like personally. This is the six point million Tax the award suit of You don't right. keep on doing that. But let me tell you what happens. Without getting let me tell you what happens. Job that six point four million dollars could right, help a lot of a could help a lot of poor black inner city kids. But what's that's gonna true. happen? They're gonna take that money out of their own pockets and they're gonna raise taxes to get that and reap that money back, and it's gonna still hurt the community. So uh, they, I think they were well, premature well, even well, to settle the case. I think case. what Bill was saying is the repercussion on the um, people at the person, top, right? The system, the leaders, right? Okay, tell me how that's going to repercussion on them. Is because this a record? every time you have a claim or a loss, it goes against them, and they should be held accountable for it. Yeah, they can get fired, but it's right. who's, they can get fired, that's true. But who, when it comes to down to it, the taxpayer, the poor people in the poor communities are the ones that's going to be taxing this thing. 6.4 well, million? Well, one of the changes, brother, that you can sue for because they have it codified that gives these police officers immunity that may be from true. their personal assets that may being be true. taken. So that's something you can sue for, may part of your lawsuit. And if I'm going to settle with you or we're going to come to an agreement, this is part of my agreement is that y'all have to remove those protections. That's true. Now, that's, that's a punishment. Yeah, and the statistical mm -hmm. knowledge of having done it. How many cases have been filed against you? Just like we know this officer had five complaints right. registered against them. We should be registering complaints against these folk every time they do that to make them stop and think about what they're doing right. now, now in the name of Scott, right well let, hold it okay. scotty we got to go um let everybody know when they can listen to your show uh, please tune in to New Abolitionist Radio tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. where we'll be talking about 21st century slavery and human trafficking and policing is a big part of that All thank right. you Thanks. thank you friend thank and you, our, our praise break this week is sponsored by the Metropolitan Day School. Every praise by Hez 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 um, Hezekiah Walker.
praise. Yeah, praise. It's to our God. Y'all know how we do it. Take it up and praise. Yeah, praise. It's to our God. Every word of worship. With one accord. Come on, say every praise. Every praise. It's to our God. What is New Orleans Talk Network? It's today's hottest topics with an added flair. You. Get ready, because the conversation will be hot. And better yet, mobile. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app available on Android, iPhone, iPad. And you can listen to us on the web at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. Write down our talk line at 504-341-TALK. That's 504-341-8255. Interactive and worldwide, that's what we are. Join in on the real conversation and tell a friend about the New Orleans Talk Network. Hey, this is Chocolate Chip again, and small behavioral health practices are working harder than ever. It's time for a new perspective. Healthcare commercial billing specialists can help you manage your practice, follow your claims, and get you paid in record time. The first step is always the hardest. With HCBS Billing, we make it easy and simple for you to start. Thousands of providers are already getting paid on time. It's time you get paid, too. Sign up today at hcbsbilling.com or call us at 866-647-6267. That's 866-647-6267. Two six seven. Reclaiming the Club, WMXP, 95.5 FM, Greenville's People-Powered Radio, Radio. Reclaiming the Club. It don't mean a thing, you bet it don't got to go go swing, you go with Booba, 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 we're gonna do this one over y'all, my special request y'all. That go go swing. We're gonna do it for Sean and Vinny of Harvard University. If any, uh, Vinny and Sean known to follow to dawn. Ah ah, they go do wop do wop do wop do wop do wop do wop. All right, thank you. I want to see the people, not signs. Yes, I get a groove when I look at you. Join the conversation. Phone lines are open right now. Give Tanya a call at 804-321-1010 in Central Virginia and 844-321-1010 toll-free coast-to-coast. That's toll-free, 844-321-1010. I'm going to go straight to answer that you have a comment from Twitter. Yes. It's from Real Brother Radio, and it says, Scotty Reed, there are white people who are harassed by the police because they're black. You sure about that, bro? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's, that's, that's definitely that's, that's true. That's from Real Brother. What, what, what was the question again? What was the, what was it? The question was, there are white people who are harassed by the police because they're black. Hold on. Okay, that's read it. Okay, I'm not following that yeah. one either. Real Brother, you can give us a call and explain that one. And then we're waiting mm. on James and uh, Roddick to give us a call as well. That's a deep statement philosophically, but I don't think that's what he really meant. But anyway. I, I think it was, I was, well, I was we, we were just talking during the break, and uh, we were talking about an incident. Talking about an incident where it sounded like she was white. Van, did you hear this, this same piece where this white, this white woman, right. she was pulled over mm-hmm. for speeding. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was really speeding. Mm-hmm. And the officer gave her a ticket, yes. and as she was getting ready to pull off, she made the statement that that's why officers get killed or get shot, something to that effect. Yeah. And she was not um, pulled out of her car. She was not dragged to jail. Yeah. And comparing that to Sandra Bland, where the officer just asked her to put out her cigarette, 
and you know she made the comment as to why drag pulled out of her car and ended right. up going to jail mm -hmm. and See, dying so my thing is constitutional this. freedoms that are afforded to citizens of this country stop at the water's edge for some people White folks can say really what they want to the cops, and it's not an issue. And do with the so woman. has At she all. not had this woman been uh, had Sandra Bland, Bland been white and not put off her cigarette, she would be alive today. That's what you're saying. I would say that it was highly unlikely that she would not have gotten arrested right. because, according to the videotape that I saw, I saw no reason for her to get arrested. When 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 the cop asked her a question, and I deal with this on a regular basis, folks will ask me a question and they don't pose it in such a way where it's rhetorical. When he goes. Why are you doing such and such and such and such? She explains to him what's going on. His response back to her was, are you finished? Well, that's an inappropriate response to a question that you've asked. When you say, are you finished? Now you're starting stuff. Right. Uh, yeah, Period. Escalating, escalating uh, the matter. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know. I'm always questioning about stuff like that. Um, I don't think he should have forced her to put her cigarette out. Right. But let me tell you something that happened to me. I was going in um, the college, uh, the ballpark one day and this I went to bring something in the park uh, like a can soda or something he would let me in and I and I start chewing this white guy out and uh, and uh, I said he's a racist come to find That's out you. <laughs> come to find out he married a black girl so he wasn't ra he wasn't racist mm -hmm. he was just kind of doing his job and sometimes you can get caught and think people are what they are on the surface but in, 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 when you examine the whole picture but he didn't pull you over anything like that you were upset because you couldn't bring the soda into right the and a lot of things happen sometimes that's a different compared to what the right to, what the blame went through but there was a lady on tv this morning uh that was running 54 in a 20 mile zone where buses were and kids were and the police stopped and gave her a ticket right and she said this is Rightly why so. you police officers are, are being shot oh but she said was, the same she thing? said the same why that's why y'all being shot it's like wait a minute you just broke the law grievously broke the law almost a and kill kids, and you're blaming the police officer for giving you a ticket. And this woman was African American, this, this African -American older African American. And what happened? Did he? He just gave her a ticket and let her go. Okay. He didn't snatch out the car, but it was, was a, a white recorded police on, officer. Yes. Okay. Uh, it was okay. on the news this morning. He did his job. He did his job. So it, 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 he I don't respected think it's her First Amendment board. right to freedom right. of speech. Exactly. I don't think it's crossed the board that all white police officers hate black people. No, or whatever. Right. It, it, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Right. We we agree. It's not all. It's not all police officer, and not all white police officer. But there is a culture out there. There's a culture where the police, many of the police officers are very nervous. They feel insecure in terms for their lives. I saw something on television where the lady officer, when she left the home, she told the children that she loved them. Mm -hmm. And when she got in the car, going to work, she reported that she didn't even know whether she would return home or not. So you got that kind of mindset where the police officer don't even know whether they yeah. will return well, home Well then, hold not. on, first of all, when, when a person signs up to be a cop, they should already know if they are mentally capable to do yeah, the job. Yeah, but not in this atmosphere should, where you walk up and shoot a police officer finish? in the back. Can I finish? That's a little stressful than I what guess it no used to be. Okay, go, go, go ahead, Van. <laughs> they know that the job that they are signing up for is dangerous. They're not being sentenced to it. This is not in lieu of, el of something else. They know how dangerous it is, period. So the whole, well, I don't know if I'm going to come home and so on and so on, yeah. You don't know, just as most, most other folks don't know, you're, for my, you're likely to have that be a reality than the regular person, but you knew that coming in. No. Yes. When you, when you, you, you joined the force 10 years ago, you didn't have this It doesn't matter if you joined the force 100 years like ago. You, you knew it's that you were getting into a dangerous yeah, sure, job. But not, isn't it story. more stressful today than it was back then? And when no more stressful for the cab shot. driver to have a gun stuck in his neck or something. Right. Yeah, that's, that's and that is no reason for sure. them to, is, That's no reason for them to shoot first and ask questions and only slightly later, less stressful regardless as to what the color of your skin may be. We all fall down. We all have faults. Yeah. True. That's yeah. great. That, I, we, I agree with on that one. And that's fine. But sometimes someone's fault can end up resulting in the death of someone that it well, didn't have to happen. Prime example, uh, Tamir Rice, a nine-year-old, yeah. a 12-year-old, and he loses his life because the officer... Thinks, Flipped out. Yeah, opposed to... I, There's been a lot opinion, of killings. Which one was that? Was that one in the park? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
you need to keep up, bro. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of killings. Up. <laughs> I just, there's so I, many of them. I don't well, it is, keep it up is, with it stuff is, like it that. Is, it, it is a lot of people. 12-year-old child yeah. walking in a park with a gun. With a toy, with a toy gun. gun. Okay. Right. Someone in the neighborhood called the police to alert them that this okay. kid was walking around and it was probably a toy. The cops drove up and shot this kid before they got out the car. Good. Right, exactly. How long does it take for you to, if, I'm a, if you're a police officer, you drive up and a person has a gun, what would you do? Well, why not? Why not? Why not? No, why couldn't they have talked him down? down? Why couldn't they have talked him down? Are you going to give me room first. enough to, to deal with this Go situation? Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Deal, with, deal with this situation. <laughs> first of all, have you seen the videotape of how the interaction went? Yes, I've seen it. You've seen it. Do you realize that the child was shot less than two seconds after the car pulled up in front of him? Right. Okay. The, how on. long does it take to pull a trigger? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. You need to ride with police officers sometime, honestly. I don't need to ride with nobody. Okay. I, I have a okay. You're a bad judge. I have a videotape showing the incident. The cops said, well, we asked the kid to put the gun down. They could not have asked him to right. put the gun down for and shot him as it in that little bit of time. Right. For as Furthermore, as it the cop that shot him was, was, was allowed to resign from a previous police force because he lacked the maturity enough to be a, a police okay. officer. Right. Okay. Don't he, let he me. Did. Okay. Well, let, let's, let's go to the phone. <laughs> James from Raleigh. How you doing today, Tony? Fine. How about you? I'm doing all right. I'm loving your show. Uh, Thank you so much. Just kind of just kind of found out about it. And I'm, I'm I'm trying to tune in, but you know, every day, two o'clock. But I just wanted to uh, bring something to you guys' attention. I just wanted to see what y'all thought about this. Okay. Um, as far as like with the image that a lot of us young black males are are, are, are portraying these days with the weaponized hip hop and the thug culture. Uh, do you think that has a lot to do with uh, this, the, the overreaction with a lot of these police officers? I mean, especially yes, like in the... Yes, I do. No and I said it from the standpoint, we are afraid of it as well. Our, own, our own people. True. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to hear y'all... That's response. a good point, brother. Yeah, thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. That is a good point. What she was saying, the kids nowadays are wearing a uniform that is indicative of violent behavior. And that's noticeable by people and cops as well. Citizenry also recognize a cop's uniform as being indicative of potential violent behavior. Mm -hmm. So it's a recognized, if it's that, then it might be this. So, yeah, it's a uniform that they wear. Right. I, I agree with that 100 percent. And, you know, one of the things that bothers me when I see a young man and he has his pants sagging, I just, it just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That we and, all feel and, you. But it's but it's not just black kids. It's white kids too walking around like that. All and it has everything to do with the fact that we yeah, dictate the culture. Yeah, but it has a different um, effect. Connotation. Yeah, oh, when, yeah. when when true. we yeah. do it, when yeah. we do it, and That's that that true. just uh, why can't we change that that hip hop whatever it is culture you know way because of dressing? Because it's, it's a lot of money being made in hip hop. Yeah, you're not gonna give up the money to uh, uh, because if you get the hip hoppers out there singing the blues and singing all this stuff. But you see their lifestyle. They don't live the hip hop lifestyle in a sense when they go to their homes, you know. Um, it's rebellious some of, behavior. Some of them don't even let's allow their kids to listen to this hip hop stuff. So yeah, but it's, you know, but some it's a lucrative business. It's it's rebellious teenage behavior, just as rock and roll was back when it first came out. The only difference is, well, you know, but more drugs, gangster. more guns. Yeah, true. Uh, more blatant. Uh, well, it's more uh, violent. That's and that's more the difference. Tolerance. Yes. That's the difference. It's more yeah. violent. I don't think the rock and roll uh, culture was violence, was yeah. right. Was, no. was violent. Women. Yeah. Right. Exactly. You know, that's that's yes. different. It's it has totally more misogynist and police right. Officers and and, and perhaps what you were saying earlier about um, being a police officer now is a lot more dangerous oh, yeah. from no that question. standpoint. And I would definitely agree with that. 100%. And I would not because I think police officers are a whole lot more hostile, got away with a whole lot more. Some are and, not all. Without a doubt. Uh, look. You didn't play with the police, okay? Right. You that, would not right. be seen again, and nobody put you up on Twitter or put you on, on the news. You was gone, okay, until they found you. Well, what should we do? Get yeah, rid of the police department? You. What should we do? How should we solve the problem? Kick stop them all out of the neighborhood? <coughs> well, I think when you have a bad <laughs> no, officer. No, stop, stop flexing on when people. You, when you have a bad <laughs> officer, <laughs> and that all of them are bad, we, and I think that they. Rid, I agree. The ones that are good, if they will come forth and, you know, expose the ones that are not That's because it, it endangers them on the long run and in, in the long run for the mere fact that we have in the past few weeks month or so we've been hearing about a lot of police officers that have been shot and mm -hmm. these were probably good officers let, oh no question yeah let me you know? bring your attention so, to one so thing it's, so it's um, impacting let, the other officers let me, let me bring your attention to one thing 
Had y'all been following on the news when uh, somebody was, was, was shooting at people along the right. highway? Mm-hmm. Did you see those armed individuals patrolling the highways? Right, right. Nobody right. Are, are you talking them. about in Arizona? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Nobody's right. saying thing to them. Right. When that guy was Anybody grazing. Anybody see well, anything had, the armed white folks those, walking around in Ferguson? Those great. were the same when person he was that were in his cattle those were the same person on in government Air, land in Ferguson. And those those when guys rode up. Hold on, hold on. He's talking about a whole different. No, 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 no. I'm trying to make a point. Okay. I've, that you can be shot down for just about anything, but you've got a whole group of people out there yeah. that can show up. Yep. You understand? Show up armed to the teeth. And challenge the police or act like they're on the police side. No, they they police, weren't just uh, the police. They, they those were the federal Oak? agents. Who was federal? All um, those, you're not talking guys, about the Oath Keepers. Guys, uh-uh. You talking about the Oath Keepers? None of yeah. You talking about the Oath Keepers? Yeah. I think that's what they call you're, them. You're, yeah, you're called, alluding. You're okay, alluding to the situation the same where thing the guy about was. The last time the outbreak in Ferguson, they had those vigilantes right, out there with those exactly. guys. Yes. It's a whole nother layer. But you were alluding to a situation, and I don't remember the state where the guy was letting his animals graze on federal land. Yeah, something like right. that. He wasn't paying the taxes. Something like that. Too. Okay, but in that particular situation, folks were showing up from all over the place, and there was right. there, there was more than one guy, or at least one. That it's set up in, in a sniper position. Yeah, in a prone position. And he was ready to shoot federal agents. These right. ain't just cops. So, 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 okay. We, so, we, how is it that they, they can get away with things like that if we were to show up? Because at, if we were to show up, are we really asking do you that think we'd be able to, pro, uh, you know, patrol? Um, no, no. Up and down Black Panthers used to do that. Yeah. See what happened to yeah. them. Okay. Oh, these guys. Well, let's, let's, let's go to the phone. Ifia from Greenville, South Carolina is with us. Hey, Tanya. Hi there. How are you, friend? Trying to survive it all. There you go. I just want to join the brother who keeps pointing out that the starting point is the fact, not the assumption, that we are operating in a white supremacist environment, a global system of white supremacy. And anyone <laughs> who who thinks Otherwise, is not paying attention. No, they're in denial, sister. So they're in denial. Thank you. Thank you. Out, <laughs> ain't no uh, paying attention. Uh, could you explain yourself? So just a could minute. you explain yourself, sweetie? I've, I've sat here right. for the past 38 minutes listening to you all, so you can listen to me for all a couple right. minutes. <laughs> I uh, hear you. Baby. I love it. I hear you. That um, that, that it, it, anyone who thinks to the contrary is operating out of internalized white supremacy or or uh uh feelings of in, inferiority that's that that pattern out of which they're operating any cop and i i also want to affirm the point if you can you hold with just a second we gotta take a break okay sure lift every voice and sing till
Are you searching for the best in online black radio? Then go to blacktalkradionetwork.com, helping you filter through the noise. Real talk, black talk. If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPL plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network, the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-961-2730. 800 961 2730. 800 961 2730. 800 961 2730. Hey there, Big John Trimble here. Thanks to Tanya for freeing up the time to allow me to talk about the Big John Trimble Show. Heard Monday through Friday mornings, 6 to 9, right here on WCLM Radio. Yes, sir, after 57 years, I'm still on the radio and 24 7 on bigjohntrimble.com. It all originates from our backyard studio over here in Verona. We play a wide variety of requested music from Fats Domino, Chuck Berry, and Donna Washington to George Jones, George Strait, and Loretta Lynn, along with the trivia contest and over the fence chats with our listeners from across the Richmond area, across the USA, and sometimes foreign countries. The Big John Trimble Show. It's the most fun you'll ever have. With your clothes on. They had Amarosa on Meet the Press. She used to work for Donald Trump. She was on The Apprentice. Chuck Todd asked her whether or not she'd vote for Trump. And she said, it depends. I said, yes, it depends on hell freezing over. The Real Weather Radio Show resumes live broadcast in October, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on RealBrotherRadioNetwork.com. Brought to you by Quick Mart Mini Markets. Bringing convenience back to the convenience store. Pump up the jam, pump it up, while your feet are stumping. And the jam is pumping, look ahead, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. See, cause that's where the party's at, and you find out if you do that. Join the conversation. Phone lines are open right now. Give Tanya a call at 804-321-1010 in Central Virginia and 844-321-1010 toll-free, coast-to-coast. That's toll-free, 844-321-1010. Have you seen my son 21 years uh, old? If you go ahead. We're back. I'm on the point of global white supremacy racism, I would suggest that folk read Dr. Francis Kress Wilson's ISIS papers and or Neely Fuller. You can listen to them on YouTube and get um, scientific analysis and evidence on that point. With regard to cops... If you give the name um, again of the book, Francis, what's the last the name? The ISIS papers, okay. I.S. I S. Okay. ISIS papers, the okay. keys to the colors. Okay. And um, it's the only rational analysis and explanation for the conduct of white 
across the board and the essence of Western uh, conduct. I don't call it civilization. I call it conduct. Because it ain't so, civilized at all. That's all, precisely. In fact, um, I, I'm not going to go there. Okay, <laughs> second point. Uh, I agree with you. Thank you. But um, I'm trying to stay, to not take up too much time. The second point is with regard to cops. Um, cops need to be held personally liable for their conduct. I agree. Especially where the victim is an unarmed person. These people, cops are voluntarily assuming the risk, and I, I want to point out that in 2015, just in this year alone, only 26 cops have died by gunfire. And that includes friendly fire. And compare that with the 818 citizens who have been murdered by cops. So who's got the most dangerous job? The second point. <laughs> how do you that break I that mean, down, though? Uh, <laughs> if, how do you break that down? Well, they, did they have guns? Or was hey, it a gunfight? You know or he just shoot them. Hey, you heard of Google? Yeah. You, put in you, get, you get your numbers from Google say, that all of them were, were innocent black people that were shot? I'm just trying to find the, the truth in this. That, no, let me finish. That's not the question. You, you can go on Google and just put in the phrase, police killed on duty. And it will give you the number of cops, of the total number being 86, 26 of whom died by gunfire. Then you can go to uh, p p citizens killed by police, and it gives you the, the, the 816 people who've been murdered by the cops and uh, the circumstances under which they were murdered. Okay. So if you did a little homework instead of shooting from the hip Pun or intended. lip, then so, so, we, so you said we'd all be more informed. The, the next point is, is that um, not only should they be held personally liable, but they should be fired and they should be criminally prosecuted. prosecuted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, in the instances where they have been criminally prosecuted, the, the um, presumption of, of innocence uh, and this have the, allowed them to, to get off. We as a people should not allow them to get off, especially when they're shooting and killing our babies. Uh, Ayanna Jones, seven years old, laying asleep in her mother's grandmother's lap, is murdered by Weekly, um, a, a, a Detroit cop, and the judge is going to dismiss it because uh, he can't tell whether the, it was intentional or not. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about proof, the whole question of proof. The, the issue is not whether or not you can prove the, the uh, meet the court's fictitious standard, which he keeps moving the gold coast in order to absolve more and more whites from their misconduct, whether they're employers or employees, as in the case of cops. The, the question is, is whether or not we are going to tolerate the abuse. Just because it's legal or not legal doesn't mean it's right. Everything that Hitler did in Ife. Nazi Germany Ife. was legal. Ife. Slavery in this country was legal. Ife, I got a question I, for you. My last point uh, is, is stop blaming the victim. Thank Martin you. Luther King, Malcolm X, clean as the board of health. In fact, Malcolm X was so morally correct that J. Edgar Hoover even commented that the man was spotless. So it's not a question of whether your pants are sagging or you wearing Effort, a belt, you, you got dreadlocks, you go. or you wearing a baldy. It's because you are a nigger. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. You talk about yes. 800 people being killed by the police. Now, yes. give me give me some figure. Let me get a guess. You the figure. How that many black innocent. people are killed by black people in the city on the street? The I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you. It's no relevance. Uh, it's just relevance. We're killing each other. No relevance. And we want to, we want, we're killing each other, but we don't hold nobody responsible ever. You want the police officer to be responsible. That's true. But how come we don't hold our own people responsible? I don't understand. This, this, this is the modern. between the individual and the state. And what we're talking about is the conduct. I'm talking about people dying. 
DY no, we're not. and black we're people die. We're talking about the state. We're talking about the government executing okay. right. she's, people she's extrajudicially, which oh, is a fine. violation yeah. of our human rights. Okay. Yeah, now, that's when, that when there's I interpersonal violence, count, huh? that is yeah, but that's, addressed. That's a there is a, play, a, a but still system in place to address that. Well, there has to be a system in place that addresses governmental, institutional white supremacy that results in the murder and the genocide of black people. Genocide. I yeah. think I think I think in the context of this discussion, which we're, we're speaking about police and their action and reaction to a particular people, based upon right. their appearance, up, their up appearance or their color. Right. But in That's terms right. of black on black crime, it is a reality, and you're right. We must address it. But it's right. also we can, reality of white on white crime. Jews you know. on Jew crime, most yes, crimes right. that white happen white within races, they it's have their own statistics. Yeah, you live in America? Can I just say, white and white one crime? other thing, let me, the person who pointed out that um, cops sign on to be cops voluntarily, that they assume the risk, uh, right. as slight as it is, of being shot, and any cop who discovers that he is or she is unable uh, to, to, uh, to accept that risk, um, should not to, should, should to resign. resign. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Phil. We appreciate your comments. Okay. Thank you. Let me read uh, Real Brother's tweet. Real Brother tweets that white supremacy is a myth. They are all dumb as dirt. Okay, Real Brother, we need you to call in and explain some of these. I understand completely what he's saying. I want to address okay. the whole this this whole situation of, and I know you do this just to get my goat, and you get it <laughs> so good. <laughs> no, I don't. Here's the issue. A cop is sanctioned by the state in order to perform a, a task which may result in the taking of a life. Black on black crime, those folks ain't authorized by nobody to do anything violent to anyone else. Okay. There's the difference. So you cannot bring up, oh, what about drive-by shootings and X, Y, and Z? Those folks ain't sanctioned. Cops are. Yeah, but, but this is the thing. I'm, this is what I'm talking There is no the but, thing. but, you know. When you, you got, want to hold people accountable, hold the people accountable who's doing the most crime. No, no, no. In our own case. Hold, hold, hold everyone just, accountable hold who's one, doing some one, crime. Uh, I, I, I understand, I understand about category? the police thing. I, I understand yeah. about the police. No yeah. question. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. Well, if yes. you understand that, why but, are you about to ask this? But what the question comes down to is that we don't, we, we in our own community don't take responsibility for what's happening within. We look without and say, oh, y'all need to fix this. But we don't fix what's, what's in within our own community with black or black crime. Let, let's say, let's say some of us do not. Well, because there are some who are in the trenches who are communicating, interacting, interfacing with the residents in these various communities regarding the black on black crime. What we need are more okay. brothers and sisters well, that's right. an to engage the residents within these various communities. And there needs to be some economic Look policies put in place in order to keep, week in the to black reduce community. that. We had about five shootings last week in the black community. Yes. Now, how many shootings have we had in the white community in a, in a certain uh, geographical area mm -hmm. with, with, uh, uh, with that many shootings in okay. a whole five years? Well, well, you're, see, you're, your question okay. is well, totally discounted. Can, can, can I say something about that? Can I say something about that? Okay, so we address the issues in the black on black, on black crime. Still, don't you think we need to hold law enforcement oh, accountable no That's why for the racial profiling that we're talking about? I agree. Okay. I agree. No so, so why are you bringing up black folks killing black because folks? Because I'm just telling you, it's, it's, it's a two-way sword. No, no, no. no it's two different two It's a two-way street or a double-edged sword. You can't dying. mix those two, more blacks those are metaphors, dying brother. Come on, man. Of, this is what I'm trying to say. There are more blacks dying mm -hmm. two -way sword. by black people, young black people on the streets today mm -hmm. than any police officers being killed to people all over the It's still United two States. different things. You're talking I about, know it's two different things, but, different but the same paradigm. issue is that black people are right? dying. Right now we're talking about black yes. people yes. police officers. Right. Yes. We, we don't hear about, about that in the news. Racial we, racial have, we don't have marches on the street when we have a yes, drive they do. shooting. Oh, yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Hold on. Hold what did you say in the news last time? Hold on. Hold on. That we see a march in the street where young this brother, this a young girl. This brother is a true conservative. What true conservatives do is they pose a situation where they let perfection be the enemy of good. That is exactly what he's that's, doing that's, right that's, here. That's, that's By saying, well, what about the black there, folks man. killing black folks? They're not sanctioned to do so. The cops are sanctioned to do so. We, we can do something more disagree. about them. That is the difference. Period. That, that I don't disagree with that. You're not listening. If no. you don't disagree, you wouldn't be bringing it up okay, as so some sort of die. Okay, okay, okay. Gilbert, so the question is this. What do we need to do to get law enforcement to... 
to what do we need to do, do, do away with racial profiling? Better training. Okay, better you can't training. Do and, it. You and, gotta and profile. And what else? I mean, what? You gotta profile. What? What? I don't understand <laughs> that statement. I mean, how can the first thing you do is perceive what you see? That's profiling. Yeah, that would okay, be true. Okay, that's profiling. But I mean, I'm talking about racial profiling. The same. That's exactly what he's saying. No, it's double standard. No, you talking mm-mm. about don't profile? No, he said do profile. No, no, I, I disagree with that. Stuart on line one. How are you, Stuart? <laughs> yes, I'm doing fine. I, I don't want to weigh in on on both topics of um, racial profiling by the policemen, or just the issue with policemen and the way they conduct themselves when it mm-hmm. comes to the civil liberties of black people or any people for that much, and also this issue of so-called black on black crime. Okay. That. Oftentimes, people try to throw that in there as all things are equal. Um, the first thing with the police officers, to get to the policemen, it's a matter of public policy. At the end of the day, they got the police unions. We have to really get in with these public policy makers, and they're the ones that are going to really be able to make a difference and turn things around when it comes to these police officers. Because at the end of the day, it's still about holding them accountable, which they're not. And so that's the one thing. Now, the issue with black-on-black crime, we, this means sometimes when people bring that up, and it seems like they make good points, but there are people out there, we've got to stop generalizing and saying that there are no people out there doing anything. Mm-hmm. I know for myself, I've done a few things, not saying I, I can't do more, but the little bit that's done, they don't get the support. Mm-hmm. And so you get these debates, and the first thing people come out of their mouth and say, well, why are black people doing this? at the other, but then you have to challenge them and say, well, when was the last time you were at this rally or you was involved with this mentorship program? You take somebody like Elisa Ray, she's a prime example, always out there addressing the issue of black-on-black violence, but they don't get the support. So we can't try to mix apples and oranges. Let's deal with the oranges. If you want to deal with the apples, they step up to the plate. Nobody's stopping you from dealing with black and, on black crime. And prayers but those to are arguments uh, say mix the two. And you can look at the CDC reports. The, the young lady, the woman that called earlier. We got to do our uh, research and make sure we dot our eyes and cross our T's with this issue on race on race crime. Because lo and behold, whites are not that far behind. In fact, so the hit, issue is but, people but, killing each other. Why the hell are they being shot? Look, put, right. just, just before you, before you get too far ahead, brother. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, 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 praises to uh, Alicia Raisin. She's not doing too good right now, uh, right? Uh, medically, so I let's let's that. send our prayers up to her because she has been a soldier in the field. Definitely, I think yeah. the number one thing we need to be concerned about is making sure that we and our kids are not part of the problem, mm-hmm. and that we right. need to go back. That there are certain people who are in, like white folks in particular. They are right. further ahead now, socially, economically, mm-hmm. politically. But when Frank Nitti and the boys was, was, was battling over the drug turf and the, and the sex trade and all of that, they were shooting and killing too, all right? So they right. have just right. moved up and moved on because they don't have to be out there now. We are still scuffling and scrambling from the bottom of the pile. They're working okay, with the government. Hold that thought. We got to go to Black Talk Radio commentary. Like Whitey Bulger. But the price ain't right. <laughs> ain't that gold? Be a damn flat cheap power. Yes, it do. Start riding the bike. <laughs> Listen. They're making milk out of powder. Yeah, they are. Got the babies crying. Poor oh, baby. They know what that stuff is. Rent's going up high, y'all. Yes, it is. Got the parents line. I think it's tomorrow. Lord, it's a real mother for ya, yeah. Make you wanna run for cover, yeah, it's a great. And if you look, you will discover, yeah. Lord, it's a real mother for ya. 
a North Carolina police chief has been forced to resign, which follows the resignation of a police chief in Oregon who was forced to resign for making racist comments about a black woman to the arresting officer who filed a complaint against that chief. In the North Carolina case, Sir City Police Chief Mike Halstead made a Facebook post declaring the Black Lives Matter organization an American-born terrorist group while also making disparaging remarks about President Obama and a number of other showcase black leaders like Al Sharpton. The killing of the deputy in Texas was cited as the reason for the chief's offensive social media rant, but of course that shooting had nothing to do with any organizers associated with Black Lives Matter. It seems that the chief was the victim of conservative right-wing propaganda, which has targeted the national movement for bringing attention to the lack of police accountability in the shootings of unarmed individuals and police corruption in general. An emergency town meeting was called yesterday on Tuesday by Surf City's mayor to discuss personnel concerns after the post made by Chief Mike Halstead on September the 3rd went viral. The post has since been deleted. The town council voted to accept Halstead's retirement, which is effective immediately. Town manager Larry Bergman said the post violated a policy regarding how the chief is supposed to present himself to the public. This has been Scotty Reed with your Black Talk Radio Weekly Commentary. Join me and other black independent media producers on blacktalkradionetwork.com. This is Tanya Free. If it's Monday, it's time for Let's Get Busy with your host, King Salim Kalfani. 4 to 6 p.m. here on the heart and soul of the city, WCLM 1450 a.m. Kick off the week with KSK, Commonwealth Consultation, LLC, for two power pack hours of news you can use. Feature guests, cutting edge commentary, and more. Let's Get Busy with King Salim Kalfani every Monday at 4. WCLM 1450 AM Highland Springs, Richmond The soul of the city is WCLM 1450 AM Calling all dreadheads Are you tired of your locks being dry, limp, and weighed down? Do your locks have an odor or you have unbearable itchy scalp? Are your locks thinning or falling off? If so, you need to visit Dreadhead Studio Offering full service lock maintenance Starter locks, kid services, weekly specials, and more Try their online booking for your next appointment For more information, call 804-601-8216 That's 804-601-8216 Or visit dreadheadstudio.com Located at 133 East Belt Boulevard, Suite M in South Richmond. This is Tanya Free. School is open and on average children whose immune system make them much more susceptible to germs have 6 to 10 colds per year, according to studies. Scheduled immunizations, family flu, vaccines, and regular washing of hands are recommended to help protect our kids from germs and illness at school. Stop by TanyaFree.com for more tips from medical professionals. Tanya Free's Medical Minute is sponsored by the Capital Area Health Network, the heart of the community. Join Tanya Free and friends at TanyaFree.com. What is it? What it is? What it is? What it is? Mind power. Mind power. What it is? What it is? 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 What it is? What it is? Mind power. What it is? What it is? What it is? What it is? Come on, Dan.
Join the conversation. Phone lines are open right now. Give Tanya a call at 804-321-1010 in Central Virginia and 844-321-1010 toll-free coast-to-coast. That's toll-free, 844-321-1010. I want to go back to something you said, Bill, talking about profiling and racial profiling. Profiling doesn't have a color. And when it's racial profiling, it's usually us. Well, Would you not agree? It, no, I don't agree. I, I, well, I agree that it is. But I think if I saw somebody with long hair and a ponytail and the wallet with the chain on the back, mm. I've already profiled him, and he might be the good guy down the street. But you have to be able to profile in order to understand what you're looking at. I'm talking about racial profiling. It, racial, racial profiling, profiling whatever. It's usually us. It's usually and, us. And, it's, and we're, we're shot easily, and killed without question. We're easily identifiable. Yes, if I see you with your pants hanging no. down and you're out there a certain time, and no, you got the red no, time right no, here, No, racial yes, profiling could be anybody you. in this room. That's the difference. And anybody it could also be. Racial not profiling is not, 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 not if you got a big if chain I saw or anything. One of y'all, or you're driving down the street because you got a nice car or you make it eye contact and you're black. Yeah, but that's not, they don't that's have profile. racial profiling. That's, yes, that's the difference. That's, so what? That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a black man of a different elk. But <laughs> and anybody, and anybody, anybody, right. anybody right. in this room is on Brooklyn Park Boulevard, I don't have no fear. No, no, no. It's a difference no. if you get a rag around your head, a red rag around your head, pants pulling down, second like pants. And on a then bicycle a moving with a fast. Certain what? tire on driving a car and you get racial, that's racial profiling because right. you think he doesn't belong in that car. Exactly. That's racial and that's because what I'm talking about. Race. The difference between right. profiling and racial profiling. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, ra- profiling is just categorizing who you're looking at and what you're looking at. Who and what are you looking at in the but, circumstances that you're looking at? Well, there's a, there's a piece you're missing out of that yeah, whole thing. I think, I think profiling just has two things. When you see a gentleman with a car, uh, you know, that has a tie and shirt on and driving a nice car, he's not such a threat as that person, that black person with the rag around his head and his pants hanging down. His threat level goes up. Wouldn't you agree? No. And he's driving, it, he's driving if a car. Got, with, if he got a, a 1965 Cadillac with 25 inch okay. rims on his spinning, right, but he has a rig profiling. Let's try Sandra Bland. Was that yeah. not racial profiling? Yeah. Yeah, no, I would no. say so. Sandra Bland, I don't think she was racially profiled. I do. I think she was pooled, pooled over for, for, for racial reasons, but not, not because this guy was just out there. We're talking about the, the young lady that died. In don't turn this right. into a tomato-tomato exactly. thing. Exactly. That's not what I'm saying. We, if, like I said, once over, again, let me, try this, let me try this one more time. Lanes without Everybody in here is subjected to being racially profiled. Yes. For no reason, you could just be riding down the street it's because you got a nice car or just look nice doing minding your own business and get pulled over and possibly shot or pulled off to jail mm-hmm. just be, just for being black. Right. That's racial profiling. That's true. Right. Uh, That's yeah. different from being profiled. Uh, l- yeah. Let's understand. Now, when you say racially profiled, you're talking about the police racially now profiling. I know you, I know you understand what the hell I'm talking I about. <laughs> but I'm telling uh, you, you, I made, you profile, made a Christian woman. I, I, play, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> up, I profile all the time. All <laughs> the time. I'm quite sure you. Okay, now you know what I'm talking <laughs> about. I profile all the time. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me, let me, re- we got another tweet from Real Brother. Real Brother <laughs> tweeted over 2 million. Blacks have been killed by whites since slavery. Uh, black on black does not come close. Is yeah, that an excuse he's trying to give me? Is that an excuse he's trying to be? Yeah, he's he's trying providing to you with excuse. some facts that contradict oh, what yeah, you but think you know. For black? Okay, it's okay to kill blacks because whites kill 200 million, so it's okay to kill other blacks because they kill two. Is that what he's trying to do? Give me an excuse or something? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce a troll to you. Okay. No, I'm so okay, no, I'm that's, asking that's you a not, question. That's not insult, Dan. That's not insult. He's our friend. He's I'm our just asking friend. a and question. He's just asking a question. Well, I mean it out of love. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's, let's shift gears, and we're going to talk about Kim Davis. Gosh. Oh, For what? She made me want to, I'm, I'm just going to tell you honestly, oh, she made me want to throw my TV set out the window. See, especially, especially when they start to label her as uh, a hero like Rosa Parks mm-hmm. or Dr. King. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. See, it's Christians like that that give Christianity oh, a bad man. name. Oh, don't go to fuck on Christians now. Period. Don't, say, don't use the word Christians. 
Right. That, oh, I, that's I, what she I, claimed. I, I, that's what she claimed well, to be. Well, that's not. That's one Christian. That's not. I will defend. Christian. I'm, exactly. I'm sure she is not unique. Cannot label her. No. No. Nor you is she. Label her. She's not unique. Nor is she the norm. You cannot. Uh, but count she's her doing as it being based on those based, reasons. Representing though. all of us. Okay. No, no. I would never right. say that. Okay. And I never okay. imply it. So, so what you guilty of? I'm not. Don't okay. Tell yourself, baby. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're, my earphones drop out of my ear. <laughs> okay. Let's let's talk about Kim Davis for just a second. Uh, this uh, Kentucky County Clerk, and it's which is an elected position. And I thought I heard she makes eighty two thousand dollars. Yeah, and that's I, fine. I, that's, okay. That's, that's, really? that's, that's Yeah. That's low for a clerk. Yeah, that's low. She's a she's a government. Uh, she's a government worker. She's a government worker. official. Eighty-two thousand dollars is no, nothing. Yeah. No, no. I mean, that's, that's to right, me, to me, for somebody to make well, eighty-two thousand dollars, I expect she someone a little, she a little of a tail, lot more um, integrity. Um, really now? More, yeah. Mm-mm. Isn't more that fiber? A whole lot. Anyway, like I said, she um, elected official, and she was, you know, hauled up to jail for five days for refusing to grant uh, marriage licenses. You think she should have went to jail? Yeah, yes. and I and I think she should still be in jail. Yes. Really? Yes, yes. I do. Oh yes, I do. Lord. For granting same sex um Mar- granting marriage license to same, same sex, sex couples. couples. But you think yes. it's an offense for her to go to jail all I'm saying? No, I think she should be hauled up to jail until she decides to do her job. She was found in contempt of court oh, and the right. penalty for being found in contempt so of court is jail. So the government can put jail. you in jail for not yes. doing your job. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So if you now, work for them, yes. No, no, wait a yes, minute. If she is an elected official. Yes. Yeah, but the if reason you want out of office, then have a, a referendum or something. Get her, get her out of office. Oh no! To send her to oh no! Jail. Oh no! But not doing no, her job. No, the judge said, "Okay, well, even she, she, she was given an option to do her job, and she, refu- and she refused not to do her job. So she chose let me ask you. not to do her job. She chose to go to jail. Okay. And if that's the case, she should still be in jail. Okay. Let me ask until she decides let to do her job, make it eighty-two thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. What she? Then that's tax. That's taxpayer dollars, which you were complaining about earlier. Let me so for somebody to make it root. taking taxpayer dollars, don't you want? No, you don't want to go to jail. No, no, yeah. Yeah. In an effort wait. to redeem myself, she, did, I did she it. not take a constitutional oath to hold, no. hold the constitution of the state and of the federal government? Did that is that correct? Okay. Now, what constitutional violation did she violate when she took that stand? Well, let's she, put it. No, 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 no,
when it comes to her conscience, conscience, mm-hmm. particularly and con- when her individual, and convictions. Well, then and she needs she down, needs down, she needs to resign. Well, she yeah, that's she has to do her job. She needs you know, to resign. Every, every, hold hold on, can I say something? Can I say something about this? Can I say something? Can I say something about this? Let me say something with you. Go ahead, Reverend. She doesn't have to follow the law based upon her personal conviction and her conscience. That's what happened to Muhammad Ali. Based upon his personal conviction and conscience, Mm -hmm. I will not go to war. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And where did he go instead? And and when he did did not go to war, when he did not go to war, where did he go? He lost, listen. He didn't go to jail. Wait a minute, let the reverend speak. You answer the question Let the reverend speak. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Go ahead, go ahead, reverend. Where did he go? Where did he go? I can't wait to hear it all. No, no, but where did he go? To jail. He went to jail. Mm-hmm. She has a choice. Mm-hmm. In that she decide not to uphold the law, which mm-hmm. is her right and her privilege, mm-hmm. she can quit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she didn't do that. No. And she didn't do it. So, so should she still be in jail? What do no. you think? No, I wouldn't put it in jail. Why? What do you, what, well, then how do you think? Should she still hold her job? Right. Should she give no, her she, conviction? She, why should she still get a check from no, no, a tax, no, no, from no, the no, taxpayer? Hold, 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 hold for a Help second. Help us out, Reverend. I, I'm going to work on. with that. I'm going to work with okay. you. Okay. If the state decides not to fire her, then you all need to talk to the state government. You can't fire, you can't fire, fire her because it's an elected position. Then, then, as you said earlier, she then they need to she either resign or they get a referendum and vote her out. But they mm-hmm. won't do that because they don't want mm-hmm. to spend the money to have that done. They wait until January. Then let them they don't want to call a special right. session. They've then already let, said that. Then, then let them work a term out. Yeah. No, okay. Wendell, saw, Wendell Saul's on line one. Hello, Wendell. How are you? I'm doing great. How you doing, Tanya? Go ahead. Friend, I know you're calling today. to get my blood pressure up. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I I had to talk about this. I spoke about this at the barbershop two weeks ago. And a lot of the guys in the barbershop didn't understand exactly what were going what was going on. Okay. And okay. they didn't understand what was going on. So I had to I had to break it down for them exactly what was going on. Okay. The first it the first issue was that she asked the governor if, if she could, b- before any of this took place, she asked the governor if, if he would take her name off, take her, um, so she won't have to, you know, sign it, take her name off, and then she will appoint her deputy clerks to issue out the marriage licenses. Well, the governor told her, no, I will not take your name off. You still will have to sign for it. Oh, come on. And then that's when she told them, well, I am not, me, myself, I am not going to um, issue those marriage licenses. But wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, Wendell. I, 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 I understood now, from what I understand, when she went to jail, you had clerks to sign. And she's claiming she, right, she's claim, she's claim, she's she's that, 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 that it was unauthorized. You, you, and, you're not okay. letting me finish. Go ahead, Wendell. Go ahead. You, you, you're not letting me finish. All right. So, so when she said that, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sign it. You know, I'm not gonna hand them out. That's when they had the, the state of Kentucky had her arrested. Now, the, now the, now that was the state of Kentucky arrested her, putting her in jail. Now, now the argument is, well, why did the state of Kentucky? put her in jail what law did she violate mm-hmm. for the state of kentucky to put her in jail right now that's another issue one what, as an elected official everybody knows you are sworn to uphold the constitution of the united states the constitution of the united states of america today does not d- does not say in in there marriage is between a man and a woman or does it say a man a, a marriage is between the same sex when, either way the u.s constitution t- as as it is today hmm. says nothing absolutely nothing about marriage whatsoever so, what, what the supreme court justices did was they made a ruling a ruling is not a law a law okay. becomes into comes into effect yeah. after the congress passes it. Wendell, hold on a second. Hold hold on a second, Wendell. We're going to our new um, segment, Lens Lane. Take a listen.
Leadership, what is really required? So you want to be a leader? Are you really sure about this? Leadership carries heavy responsibility. Vision, confidence, courage, accountability, ethics. Leadership is the action of empowering others towards achieving a goal. If you are a leader, you are aware that this requires constantly exhibiting these characteristics while juggling a myriad of requirements with limited time. Oh, what a challenge. As the leader, you need a vision to set your direction, charting the path of your group, designing the leadership style, identifying key functions and actions to be successful. This all requires up-to-date knowledge and skills. How strong is your backbone? You cannot give in or give out when the going gets tough. Your mantra must be constantly seeking to improve. You steer the organization towards its vision, often requiring major changes. You impact people's lives. You travel in a lane that is ever-changing and fast. Leading the team is so rewarding. However, your lane is so treacherous at times, full of conflict. You must exhibit strong core values, staying tall and steadfast in good times, as well as when your lane is full of traffic. There will be constant changes and challenges. Strong core values and ethics help you clear your lane of this debris. Leaders must be comfortable with change, as it is imperative if your group is to grow. You must execute this change. Feel good about it. Strong leadership requires you to be on top of your game day in and day out. Your credibility is at stake each and every moment as a leader. How you dress, speak, listen, react, and bring closure to various issues all help to define your leadership style and your brand. Surround yourself with smarter people, hardworking, resilient, a loyal team that aspires greatness. Constantly reinvent yourself, inspire others, help them to dream more, learn more, do more, knock that clutter and debris out of your way with strong principles, hard work, and lifelong learning. This is your job as a leader. And remember, stay in your lane. Thank you, Lynn's Lane. You're listening to AMFM 247, music you love from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Best talk radio all day and every day. Doc, you gotta give it to me straight. All right. Because I'm dying here. I mean, take a look at this letter from the IRS. Oh, my. This is killing me, Doc. I tell you, it's killing me. Cheer up, my friend. Huh? The tax doctor is here. Uh, my diagnosis tells me that you're going to be just fine. Uh, really? The tax doctor will not rest until we find you the best possible tax settlement. Really, Doc? Guaranteed. If the IRS claims you owe them $10,000 or more in business or personal back taxes, call a tax doctor right now. We could save you up to 75% if you qualify. Guaranteed or you pay nothing. Call right now for free details. 800-918-7169. 800-918-7169. That's 800-918-7169. The Republican Party on the Iran deal. Is Obama still black? Okay then, it's a bad deal. It's the Real Brother Radio Show. 6 p.m. Eastern on realbrotherradionetwork.com. Hey, this is Chocolate Chip. Dreading the start of the new school year? A stressful time for parents or children with behavioral challenges. Call the Metropolitan Day School. Don't go through another year of failing grades, phone calls from the principal, and frequent suspensions. Call the Metropolitan Day School today. Licensed and accredited. 804-321-2595. Financial assistance available. Start the school year off right at the Metropolitan Day School where eagles soar. Don't wait. Call Ms. Thomas today at 804-321-2595. Thank you. 
the conversation. Phone lines are open right now. Give Tanya a call at 804-321-1010 in Central Virginia and 844-321-1010 toll-free coast to coast. That's toll-free 844-321-1010. We want to invite uh, Real Grandma to give us a call. I um, understand you have some comments or opinions, and we welcome everybody. We do not discriminate against anyone, and I think um, Gilbert can use some help right now. Okay. Phone number is 804-321-1010. Our toll-free number 844-321-1010. Okay. Oh, Wendell, are you still there? Yes, I am. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> um, this the ruling that Supreme Court made is not a law because because in order for something to become a law, there has to be a bill. The Congress didn't vote on the bill, the Senate didn't vote on the bill, and President Obama didn't sign the bill. So, as, as I was saying, I was in the um, barbershop and I was explaining that, and the guys in the barbershop, they said, well, I thought Obama signed the bill for same-sex marriage. I said, no, sir, there was there, there never was a, uh, a bill that was signed to become a law. So they asked me, then, then how can the Supreme Court just say something gonna be something and the country just gotta live by it? I okay. said, because people is not standing up and pushing back against it. Because in the states, the states, peop, um, the states people voted, you know, for, for either they wanted it or they, did, or they didn't. And then when it was, passed or failed in the states, and then they added it to their constitution. And then that's the governing body that each state is governed by. What Ms. Davis is doing in Kentucky, Kentucky um, passed the law to ban same-sex marriage. So she is not violating the state constitution either because but the state constitution... But she is violating the same, same, uh, same-sex couples' rights. That's what she is violating. And being as she has been elected to, she's been elected to up because she's been elected to uphold. Um, she she that, is that, upholding yeah. it. Why do people okay, not let, want let me, to? Let me, let, me, let me say this. We were talking. Why do people the, not want we to? We were talking during the break. What, what gives, what gives Miss Davis the right to point the finger at somebody else? If you want to go into her little laundry, you know. Uh, she's basket. not pointing the finger. No, 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 because, not, yes, she is. Yes, she is. yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's not pointing the finger. All she's doing is upholding <laughs> the state constitution and the federal constitution. Let's, let, let, let's understand the different branches of government and what they do. The Congress may write a law. But it's up to the Supreme Court to interpret. There's the law. no law been written. That's what he the There's law, no law that's been written. It, the law There's no law that's been written. Let, 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 the let Bill finish. Let Bill, it let Bill finish. Has been determined by the Supreme Court right. that everyone has the, the same sex couples have the same rights as heterosexual exactly. couples. Exactly. Sir, but there's no bill that has been That's written. That's their right. Don't have like to they be. have a right. It was right interpreted from, that it's not just one way. But what is he interpreted from? Well, it's yeah, discrimination yeah, what they they constitutional it law. From? It's what, discrimination. What it from? Right That's right. Right. You can only interpret a law. Okay, There's all right. Let me no let me law. let me. Okay, let, let, let me say this. I know you all are, are just on one on one side of the track. Does same sex couples have the right to marry? Yes, yes. or no? No. When did? Okay. Uh, they don't have that under, right. Under the United law. States under, Constitution, not, not Constitution, which law. says nothing about marriage. Okay, let me say this. Ha, but hasn't the Supreme Court given them that right? But, but to they can't them, give them a right because there's nothing in the in the Constitution to, that that defines what a marriage is. So the so the justices can't rule on something then that's not you, in the Constitution. Then how can you rule that they cannot? If it's not in there I, that you can, how can you, you rule know that why? it cannot? Because because in the Tenth Amendment, the powers that's not given to the federal government Thank is you. then granted to the states. So therefore, the states made the determination by asking the voters to go to the polls and vote, do you want same-sex marriage? And the voters voted no. And the voters that's voted how no. you do it. Okay. So that's okay. how you do okay. it. Okay. 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 The if, we have an, the if we have an attorney out there, give us a call. We, we, okay. we need no, no. Some, some legal, the, 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 the some legal court clarification here. The, we need some legal care, clarification beyond what all of us Supreme can do. Okay. Okay. That's can, true. Can. Overrule what the people wanted. We the are, people wanted something What's being different. mistaken? People Supreme wanted court, slavery, five too. Five men, seven men, whoever the difference said. The what's being mistaken is that marriage is a legal contract. People should rule. Okay, We've marriage, to the, to the marriage is, is, a, is, a, is a legal contract. The whole romanticism and all of that about, oh, marrying someone, found the love of my life, 
That's one end of it. But it's also a legal contract. It grants same-sex couples the same legal uh, uh, legal rights as do married couples of opposite sex in terms of, of uh, end-of-life decisions, that kind of thing. Uh, being able to uh, to collect someone's social security after they pass, right. that kind of thing. Uh -oh. It's Marty a legal. Too. It's, hey, it's uh -oh. a legal con. It's a legal contract. It ain't about upsetting the apple oh, cart as far as religious. Want, okay. as far black as man wanted to marry a white woman, or vice versa. Yes, that would be true, as it were, wouldn't it? <laughs> you are talking about that. When they're you are talking about that. You're talking about that. When they when they thank you so much for your comments. We appreciate it. We go to we gotta go to line two. Marty Joe, how are you, friend? Hello there, good folks. How are you? <laughs> Boy, y'all rocking and rolling hey, the Marty, field. Oh, <laughs> yes. Help, Marty, help, us, help, help us out, Marty. Help us out, Marty. You asked for a lawyer. Well, okay. I, I admire Wendell's analysis up to the end. Uh -oh. It sounded good. Uh, because he's looking for a bill. There was no bill. This whole thing was adjudicated in court, and it rose to the Supreme Court around the violation of the 14th Amendment Told you it was equal 14. protection under the law. And oh. uh, he's right. There's nothing in there about marriage, uh, heterosexual, or homosexual. Uh, but it is, it is, if men and women can get married, there's nothing in the Constitution that says that men and men or women and women can't get married. So it was adjudicated based on the Constitution, 14th Amendment, not some bill in Congress. Uh, okay. Now, if, if Congress wants to change that and outlaw it and put in a bill, uh, they've got a right to do that. But until which time, they have to abide by the 14th Amendment of Equal Protection. Meanwhile, there you go. That, that solves that issue. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Marty, Marty, I disagree with that because Meanwhile, these it, are the it was kinds adjudicated. Of you, could have, you could have predicted when you've got a, a situation that has been considered taboo for 6,000 years. And when, when Barack Obama says, hmm, I don't see nothing wrong with it, everything cascaded to the opposite direction. And I don't think we've had anywhere near the kind of public debate like I'm hearing you guys have right now prior to this uh, uh, thing coming into fruition. But it is a thing because it is a thing that went through the court, not through the legislature or the executive. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. I am okay, so uh, embarrassed I did not know what you just said. Hey, uh, man, listen, but you listen. knew it. We were just dancing around no, no, the wait issue. Yeah. Right. Wait a minute. Hold tight before you go and hold your horses while I tie mine, okay? The reason we're talking about adjudicated, it, all adjudicated means is that the judge is a, like an arbitrator to uh, decide the situation, but still there's no law based on what the Supreme Court is supposed to do. They're supposed to interpret a law. Yes. The 14th Amendment gives the right based to do the 14th, something. But there, if, 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 they, if they thought so much about it, how come Congress or the president didn't put a bill out there and put a bill? There was uh, no need. Oh, really? There was, there was no, no need. need. This is not, this, this, this <gasps> went up through the court system <laughs> As so, okay, let me ask this question. I, so should a man have married his, has a married his, oh, let, let's say, let's say, let's, let's say, let's take it a little farther then. No, you, a man you, wants to marry a 12-year-old girl, mm. okay? It's not the same Oh, well, thing. no, 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 equal rights, right? He has, he wants no, equal rights to no, marry no, her. No, 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 she's not of legal age. I don't care. Oh, what's the law about legal age then? Okay, what's the law says about marrying legal age? That's none. Hold, hold, no, that's, it's called statutory rape. It's a statute. You have sex exactly. with her. That's what it's statutory it's means. Every, it's every but if you marry her, that's not that certain that you marry her. Hold on to that, Marty, Marty Jewel. Hold, you hold, hold on to your thought. And you, can, you, you take this thing and you can branch it out even farther because of what if I can marry my next door neighbor's 12-year-old daughter? You know, and, and this, if, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's my right. he's one of them Christians no, it's the, it's, that makes Christianity you know, look bad. No, you want, right you there. want your rights, but you don't want responsibility with your rights. That's what you want. And right, anytime you got rights, you have to have responsibility. And if you want responsibility, then so we'll have a havoc society. Okay, you know, everything goes. Marty Jewel, please Man continue. Man marries dog, his cat, you know, have sex with any I, horse or anything. All like I'm that. saying is every state has laws against. Uh, Marrying minor children. Right. Every state. Every state has laws against having sexual relations with minor children. 
and animals. Those are all in in statutes in the state. Um, but and so that's covered. And the Supreme Court will absolutely rule that the state has the right to make that law. But this has not been adjudicated that way. It has to do with equal protection under the law, and that the, the Constitution is silent about marriage. He's right about that. Object. All righty. Thank you, Mike. I'm done. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. Thank you for coming to the water on a conservative viewpoint, okay? Thank you for clearing that up for us, Marty. We appreciate that. Conservatives wrong then, wrong now. Okay, the liberals have got it right all the time. Okay. No, that's not what Jesus we're saying. Jesus was a liberal. No, no, what's what he said? Okay, that's, that's Jesus was a right, liberal. That's, that's enough then. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that, that's going to really don't mess be a, Don't be a sore loser. No, it's not. No, no, he's not a sore loser. I mean, I'm not you, sore. You, 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 have you see your, the smile on my face? <laughs> well, my that. point is, yeah. is the fact that Miss Davis, to me, I think that she should stay in jail until until she does until her job. Until she rot, right? No, until she no, until, until she decides she to do, no, to do her did, job. If she refuses, then she has to stay until she rots. And you think that staying in jail for the rest of her life is a crime punishable for well, not let me signing say this. the paper. Let me say this. Let me say this. Stay in jail until they're able to have the election where they can point some uh, elect someone else. Okay, but okay? what's the reason for putting and her in jail? January, Contempt then. of court. Right, and that's January. She's denying the, equal is, rights is under the Constitution. Is the, is the 14th. The crime, you just heard the explanation. Let me something. Is the crime related to the punishment? Is she being punished for yes, the crime she's doing? Yes. Well, she's been given yes. a choice. Well, well, uh, again, you can't give her five days. You can't give her five days in jail. You got to put in the rest of her life. Back to Muhammad Ali, when he decided not to participate, enlist in the military of the United States Armed Forces, mm -hmm. he in turn was arrested. Was not only was he arrested, he lost his belt. Mm -hmm. So the same goes for this lady. Well, mm -hmm. what I would do, I will resign if this is so important. To right. Me. Yeah, without a doubt. Right. And I'm not saying well, she's well, wrong. I, I think she, 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 she's enjoying. She, she is enjoying being here as a hero and, and all that, which right, she is right. not. Which Why she is should not. I give up my job because of my 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 convictions? And, and want to do what I want to do. Because your convictions right. yeah. allow you to yeah. violate let's, my rights. Let's, let's take a break. 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 the latest in sports, celebrity, and entertainment news. Here's the sip this week. So, Nicki Minaj's wax figure is coming down. Even after stepping up security, people still wouldn't act right. So, a new statue is being worked on, and hopefully she'll be standing up this time. In other update news, Chris Brown has won 50-50 custody of his daughter, and his baby mama ain't allowed to discuss the case on social media anymore. Sounds like a win for Breezy. And I need a judge to make the same social media clause for Gilbert Arenas and Laura Gomez. They have been more than messy, but he always takes it to the next level. He's been writing essays on social media about how the mother of his children chooses to spend child support money on everything but their kids. And if that wasn't enough, he wants the house back. And he's giving her time to either cooperate or be evicted. So if she cooperates, he'll give her first and last month's rent for a new place. Oh, and he wants to escalate back, saying she can use child support money and get a new vehicle. 
Man, he's super hurt. Speaking of hurt, Nia Riley of Love & Hip Hop LA wrote an essay of her own to Soulja Boy's other girl. She basically named a ton of men that the girl's been with, but she listed a lot of celebrities that are married or engaged, like T.I. and Kevin Hart. So Tiny has already clapped back. I'm sure Nia's intentions were to make the girl look bad, but it looks like she's the one breaking homes by putting it out there for everybody to see. When keeping it real goes wrong. I'm just saying. Check out more on my site, thesimplecoffeeblack.com, and tune in next week on the new musicexchangeradio.com for The Sip with Coffee Black. No sugar, no cream. That's the type of girl I need down with my team. Advertise with Tanya Free and Friends. Text the word advertise to 63975. That's 63975. Or give us a call at 844-321-1010. That's 844-321-1010. Hi, this is Chocolate Chip. Love golf? Then we have the perfect tournament for you. Plan to join the Knights of Columbus Council 6457 for their annual Bishop's Cup Golf Tournament Monday, October the 12th. 18 championship holes at the beautiful Stonehenge Golf and Country Club. Sponsorship opportunities starting at $100. Only $320 for a foursome or $85 for a single player. That's Monday, October 12th at Stonehenge. Register today. Call 804-222-1105 to register. And for more info, call today. Slots are filling fast. The New Orleans Talk Network, now on your mobile device. On your computer in your ear and interactive it's new it's innovative and it's on your mobile device android iphone ipad and on your computer take us wherever you go because we're interactive 504-341-TALK that's 504-341-8255 check out the tiny free and friends rewind Every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern on the May We Help You Radio Network at MWHWRadio.com. Hypothetical, political, lyrical, miracle whip, just like butter. My rhymes are legit because I'm a Humpty. Not Humpty Dumpty, but Humpty Hump. Here a hump, there a hump, everywhere I'm Humpty Hump. Shut up and just listen. Not dissing, don't get me wrong. But to me, it's just the same old song. So just watch because my name is Shock. I like to rock and you can't stop this. Tupac, go ahead and rock this. Now I clown around when I hang around with the underground. Girls used to frown, say I'm down when I come around. Gas me and when they pass me, they used to diss me. Harass me, but now they ask me if they can kiss me. Get to fame, people change, want to live life high, same song, can't go wrong if I play the nice guy. Claiming fame must have changed now that we became strong. I remain still the Why same, too? cause it's the same song. And all I want is the same song. Same old song, y'all. And all I want is the same song. Shout out, shout out, check out, shout out. Shout out, stop. It's just the same old song. Yeah, Humpty Hump in the house, y'all. And you know what? It's the same old song. Join the conversation. Phone lines are open right now. Give Tanya a call at 804-321-1010 in Central Virginia and 844-321-1010 toll-free coast-to-coast. That's toll-free, 844-321-1010. Before we go to our next topic, I want to make an announcement of an upcoming event this Saturday the 19th featuring my good friend uh, Desiree Roots. Um, It's a night with Desiree, a jazz benefit. So, Please support this. Uh, for more information, call 804-250-6655. Okay, she's an awesome jazz um, artist, so you don't want to miss it. Um, we are going to talk about something I thought we should have talked about earlier, but we got um, hooked on um, Kim Davis. The um, settlement for Freddie Gray, $6.4 million. That's what's been agreed upon uh, with the officials and the family. And um, there's a lot of talk that um, this, this settlement should not have come before the trial started because it may impact, um, you know, the cases, all six cases, um, admission of guilt. What do you all think, Bill? Yes, I think that, that they should have settled and we should, they should you, always you think it'll have some, Do you think it'll impact the, or is it admission of guilt by them having this settlement would, yes. prior to yes. the, the trial? Yes. If the uh, if if the if your your loved one died in the custody of the police department or their 
while in their custody, you deserve some kind of compensation. Okay. With that being said, if it's if this is done before the trial happens, wouldn't the trial, if the cops are found guilty, be, be then subject to um, wrongful death suit? Yeah, they're still right. Up. They're still up. Okay. Right. So True. whether or not they're found, but usually, usually that's that usually it's that's usually done after the fact. Right. Usually it's right. other way around. That's that's the issue. It's usually the other way this around. Is, this is my thing. You got you got you got city officials out there mm -hmm. who are giving away taxpayers' money without any type of trial or anything to prove a case. This, okay, let's give the money out. Six point four five four million dollars. Right. Six point four. Mm -hmm. Taxpayers' the, 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 money. The, the, the tennis and, the tennis player. Well, let me say this. It still has. Let me say this. still it still has to be approved by the city board. Let me let me put that out there right. as well. I mean, does the but, city but, but, have but, that much money to give away? No. Well, they're gonna have. They're gonna have to find it. They yeah. find money for everything gonna, else. Yeah. The, the poor people on the streets gonna have to pay the well, money. Well, let me say this. You, we, we talk about so the, the city giving away money. Wouldn't real. it be cheaper if they were to go ahead and buy body cameras for the officer, as well as um, you know, retrain the the whole department? Uh, wouldn't that be a lot cheaper, as opposed to holding off? You know, buying the body cameras and you know. They gotta go. They gotta they've pick got one, one of the other. They've, they've got body cameras speaking. and they still act like scoundrels. They think, well, yeah. they, no, it's been a, well. I, I think it should be one of the things all police officer, all police departments should do, yeah. is put body cameras okay. on all the officers as well as dash cams. And I say that from the standpoint that if one break, you got the other one. Yeah. Because we have learned a whole lot Thank with you. officers having these body cameras or someone recording. Because I think that the Freddie Gray case, the Eric Garner's case, had if we did uh, in Sandra Bland, if we did not have some sort of video or even the um, the case James Blake, things would be totally different. A officers, officers would be too. running even more rampant, and there is nothing to. Um, they could you know, be running much more rampant than they already are. Well, but, I mean, uh, that they've always been I think been they running. would be more cautious, Six knowing point. that it's. Well, let me say this: the gentleman that. Um, tackled um, James Blake didn't even do a police report we would have no record of that situation at all if it wasn't for James Blake speaking no, up. No, if but it wasn't if, for the videotape video, yeah. of... Well, but he still he still did not write up the... Then it would have been his word still, versus the cops and the cop always wins. Right, and well, no, not, not in this particular case, I don't think it will. But had it not been the videotape the, and James Blake speaking up, we would have no record. In fact, it even embarrassed the commissioner and the mayor because they had to learn about it from a, you know, public sources. Should he get paid before a trial? From public sources. Should he get paid before a trial? Asking... Blake. Should, should Blake, hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, he's not following suit, but yes, I think, no, I, think I think, suit. I think he should too. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so to go back to answer your case, yes, paying them this so that portion of it goes away, regardless of what we do to those police officers. But a, that, but you have, you because they have a right the to come back is, civilly for them anyway. The difference is you have a camera that shows everything. In the gray class, you don't have a camera showing anything that. When this gym was put in the van. The yes, you, yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's a video. But Again, know, but we don't know. A video. That's a video from the time they they that they, you took, don't they, know they, they handcuffed him he was and dragged van. him. At, from the time He's they handcuffed him and dragged no, him listen. and put him in the van. I saw the that. Right. I saw that. But he didn't die till after they got to the hospital. Somebody, something happened in the van. He, he died in their custody. He died in their custody. He died in their custody. Yeah, that's right. They just make up reality as they go. Right. So it wasn't wasn't racist. We're, we're not saying officers. it was racial. We're not saying it was racial. But it's always as though everybody's saying it's racial. Well, we're though. saying no. We're saying that um, they were responsible in some ways, shape, or form for his death. Oh, because that's he was already fine. that's he was already fine. been determined. Right, because he, he was fine. He was fine. He, he was fine when I mean they dragged him after they handcuffed him some kind of way. He was he was hurt. I, I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying the settlement itself was, I think, premature. Okay. I just really think it's pretty. Not, yeah. Okay. No, 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 I can agree with that. Okay. I can agree with that. Yeah. I can okay. agree with that. Yeah. Because normally it's the other way around. I think we all can agree with that. Maybe, Bill. Maybe, maybe they were they were hoping. Yeah. Let the maybe they were doing it in order to cost them less money. We should. I think this is just long. I think that being that the mayor made an announcement that she is not going to seek re-election, she's like, okay, I'm gonna get this done. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I really think that has something to do with it. Because they, they she came, get they, anyway. they well right. They they came so close together, you know. Being that she the settlement came, and then you had um, the defense was trying to throw out the the case, the cases as well as move the the venue for the case. All that happened within days of each other, and so I'm like, okay, so yeah, I I think that um, this was done, you know, prematurely. I really do. We can agree that they they did it prematurely, but um. 
they should have done it and we should oh no i'm not i'm not saying they shouldn't i'm not saying they shouldn't going going i am not saying they shouldn't i'm just saying we i think we agree like i said that that it was done done prematurely that's the record show we agree well let's let's (laughs) okay Okay, uh real grandma see see we're friendly (laughs) <laughs> um, let, let's talk about one other um, situation. Well, not situation, really. Um, something that's going to take place tonight. The second uh, Republican presidential debate woo, on woo, CNN woo. tonight. Wait. And I think we have 11 candidates that will be um, debating. And I'm trying to figure out how did Kali get in there. I mean, they they, they really trying to hurt, trying to put her on because the some Because Donald Trump was being a little bit too honest. She, did, no, she, she ain't a pretty girl. Debate. She ain't a pretty girl, but she ain't in a beauty contest really neither. Hey, guys, Carly Fiorina's dude, not a pretty girl. That's the dude running the country. What did you say? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're not acting like Donald no, no. Trump over there. I thought Let's, you were all about to I, talk about Carly Fiorina. Didn't you say Carly right, Fiorina? I, I said, how does she get in get in the running? I mean, because, because normally it's 10, but now it's going to be 11. And they, well, they, the really, they really, they how really did, wanted her, did, they really wanted her to be in this thing. And yeah, I, and how I, they're I, putting who they're putting yeah, in it is yeah, already right. they, they really questionable wanted her. anyway. And, they, and the they, fact, I, whoa, 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 the fact whoa, whoa, that he called her out as being, wait a minute, that he, that she's already been called out for looking like she does, and she ain't a pretty girl, but she's not. That's not right, man. But she's not in a beauty contest. Let's stick Period. to the issues. Let's stick to the issues. Yeah, looks really. has nothing to do with it. I agree you, with that. You, you, you've fallen on the dark. I agree with that 110%. Yeah, looks has nothing to do with However, it. However, if anything, it should go against the That's the reason she's women. getting in there now because of what he said about her. No, absolutely no, not. That's she not was it. the greatest Mm-mm. debater Mm-mm. in the last debate on the other, on the, on the, uh, with the other debaters. She smoked. On the first, so you said she first, had a lot of substance. She had a lot of substance. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so that's why she's on there. But regardless of which, let her come on in. I want to see um see them all America. on stage. I don't want to see any of them. I wait record. to see the synopsis after. No, the show I think, and, and I'm gonna say this once listen. again, and I'm gonna say this once again. Listen. We should watch That's for right. the mere fact that we need it's to know what's being said. And I'm gonna say this: had I not watched the first debate, I would have been totally lost as to what was going on. For the mere fact, the way the media uh, delivers the message Thank is you. totally different from what actually occurred during the debate. I mean, they put their spin on it, and I didn't even recognize that, what I had watched. That I a really cable didn't. news channel is determining who is and who ain't going to be there mm-hmm. needs to be the first issue you all should have with this, period, right. oh, yeah. in the story. Oh, I agree with you. That's period. why, that's why I asked how, how Carly got in, you know, in the, you know, on the stage. Uh, Jim wants to know who Gilbert supports and why. Uh, what to know? Wendell is for Scott Walker. Yeah, and Scott Walker's not doing. Re- well, Scott, let me say this, uh, Wendell. Scott, your boy's not doing too good, and if he don't do well tonight, hey, he may be history, he like Rick history. Perry. So anyway, go ahead, Gilbert. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been looking, and I haven't really, honestly watched a lot, but I'm really for Ben Carson. Number one, let me tell you why. He's not a politician. He's 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 careful in what he says. Is it because he's black? No, because <laughs> don't, I, I was really know. trying to help you no, on that one, brother. <laughs> I like it because yeah, that, that, was good, oh, well. that was good, man. Oh, well. He is not a good man. He's not a politician, and he's very careful in his thinking. He, he, say, he says, I'm a, "I'm a brain surgeon. You got to be some type man, of smart." They're gonna rip him up. Susie, who's gonna rip him up? They might rip him up. Yeah, rip him up. They're gonna rip him. Who's gonna rip him up? What in, in the Democratic Party gonna rip Ben Carson up? What ba- what? Okay, let me ask you well, something. I've, I've what kind of baggage does he bring to this race? Congress. What kind of baggage does he bring? What kind of what fight you don't know? Do you really think he it. has the experience to really run the country? Oh, yeah. No, no question. You don't. Why not? Mm-mm. Well, hold on. Before, before right. you, before Thank you, you discount First that. First of all. Dan, you even got Dan's attention. He said no. 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 Hold on. Before you, you discount that. Why. What do you think it takes to run the country? Let's start there. I, I it takes knowledge. No, I'm talking to this it, brother. It, 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 it takes knowledge, like but it takes to help picking out. A, you don't think it, it needs some ex- have, some some experience, some political? Y'all ask me a question. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go it ahead. takes go a, ahead, a knowledge, but it also takes the ability to pick a great cabinet that has the expertise in those areas of uh, war, mm-hmm. commerce, mm-hmm. transportation, all those things you pick your expertise. Just like any other president do. You pick your, your, your people who can uh, handle those areas. And you, okay, you based and on what? I mean, based decisions. on what criteria are you using being that you are a neurosurgeon? Yes. Well, what, what, whatever people do have, <laughs> they're lawyers. Well, Everybody well, has run the office different. with lawyers. The lawyers That's usually right. have a legal perspective on things. Because this is a right and understand policy. That's different. May, may I ask a question? Wasn't Ronald Reagan an actor? Thank you. 
But, but he was also but a governor. governor. Right. He was he also was a, a politician, right. too, he beforehand. Had, now I can see, I can see if, be I can see if Ben Carson... If Bill Carson had some some sort of political experience, if he had been a senator, he no. If no. he'd been a senator, he's a not governor, been elected to nothing. Right, what? exactly. No. He's not running ben for nothing Carson to be elected have to. Show y'all something, okay? Y'all yeah, gonna yeah, see. Yeah, yes. Okay. I, 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 and what okay. is he gonna ben show? Ben Carson. Us? I apologize because I, I I moved too fast. Okay. I, I spoke prematurely. Yeah. All right. I, I think <laughs> he has to bring some kind of. And that's the kind of Christian that makes Christians no, right. look good. That's right, that's my there. point. Do you want him to bring some political stuff, or do you want him to bring truth to the office? I, I want him to bring yeah. truth, but he must understand how the system works. Oh, you don't think he knows how the system okay, works? Okay, Gilbert. Give me a break, I, I'm guys. Have to, you being he's racial now. I'm going to have to say, you being racist <laughs> no, there. You are being racist. Are you picking him because look, he's a black Republican? I, look, no, no. Yes, look, you are. I, I, yes, I, you are. I'm not a politician, oh, but I know how the government works. Right. You see, I know how the government I can't be... I can probably okay, move do you, up an do you, office. Do you, do, you, do you think you can be president then? Oh, no. No question. Okay. Point. Case, Hold on. case made. You that's think me, you can be president. That's between me and Ben Carson. <laughs> you don't even know. But you what? know what is surprising in no terms of his popularity? He has no political experience either. Well, well, did Ronald Reagan have political experience? Yes, yes he, he did. Governor, he was governor of Ronald California. Ronald Reagan you didn't did. Hear the question. I don't know about Ronald Reagan. He was, he was governor of did California. Did Ronald Reagan. That's what I thought he was governor. Let me finish. Because he was California Reagan. Did Ronald Reagan. Have <laughs> right, but he had still has some political yes. experience. Yes, he was governor of no, California. No, no, before he came governor, though, no. before he came, but he was, but he was I'm had political sure experience that, before no, being he, president. Watch. Ronald, what political watch experience ben has Ben Carson had? Watch. Has he been what governor? Has he been, has he been mayor? 999. What was his name? Watch. Oh, County yeah, that's cool. Councilman of something? Watch. What is watch ben Carson? Uh, 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 the 999 okay. brother. There was something going on with him because he was okay. once a As chairman always, we, we, of Federal Reserve. Done. As always, I thank That's God, it. my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing us the opportunity to speak and hopefully hear it. Thanks to our, our friends, blessings to each and every one of you. And, of course, thanks to Bill, Dan, Reverend Woodson, Gilbert, Marcus, Internet, Dan, um, Coffee Black, Lynn, El, El Bravador, Roosevelt, and Mr. Free. I'm telling you, free. Until next time, be free. Remember the life with a purpose. for joining us for this installment of Tanya Free and Friends Talk Radio. Don't forget, the conversation continues 24-7 at TanyaFree.com. Keep up with the hottest topics of the day, post your comments, opinions, and more, all at TanyaFree.com. On air, online, and on point. The views and opinions expressed by the guests do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or this station. Find the Free and Friends Radio is a production of Freedom Marketing, Inc. All rights reserved.